now welcome to today's class today i have an amazing uh, topic of study so the topic uh, that is a uh, probability and here with me i have a very good question here that i want to use to help you understand uh, the topic that is a uh, probability now i've been told that uh, as a foreign language 40 percent of students took spanish and 30 percent took uh, French, while 60% took at least one of these languages. The question I have here is that what is the percentages of students took both the languages? The question is what is the percentages of students took both languages? Now, how can you perform this? So, step number one is to write that is the solution. So I have a solution. Yes. Now I want us to see uh, some of the possible solutions that uh, we shall be having here in order for us to get what the question wants. Now here, uh, I've been told that 40% uh, of students took Spanish, 30% took French, as well as 60% took at least one of these languages. Now under probability here, you are not required to be using uh, those words uh, on getting the probability. So you are supposed to let a letter represent each and every word. For instance, you can just say let S to be an event that uh, 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 the, that uh, passing that is a for instance that is a Spanish. So we have Spanish there and French. So let S to represent an event of Spanish as well f to represent the event of french so that we uh, we prevent ourselves from uh, uh, bringing uh, more uh, difficulties concerning solving this work now and therefore i'll be saying that in a let uh, that is a s you can use whichever letter but in this case i just want to use the first letter for every word so let s be an event for Spanish while uh, uh, F to be an event for taking French. Yes, so this statement is very important because the moment I shall be seeing S, then automatically uh, I'll be seeing Spanish. When I see F, I will be seeing uh, that is French. And therefore, after writing those the two statements there, your work is now to analyze the question here. We've been told that 40% of the students took Spanish. And therefore, uh, the probability of taking Spanish by these students is 40 percent and as Spanish will say that it is S so I'll just come here and say that is probability of taking Spanish language now is equals to a uh, 40 percent so the 40 percent I can write it in a decimal so when you write 40 percent that is 40 over 100 and automatically you will end up by getting 0 0.4 then we be, we've also been told that 30% uh, took French. And therefore, since French, we've, we've uh, letted it as F, we shall just say that probability of taking French is equals to 0 0.3 because 30 over 100 is 0 0.3 there. Then lastly, we've been told that 60% took at least one of these languages at least one simply means you're supposed to be getting the union of the two languages so when you get a uh, probability of spanish union french automatically you will be getting that 60 percent so that is uh, the probability of spanish union french is equals to 60 percent and 60 when you change it to decimal it will be 60 out of 100 which is equals to 0 
Now, after analyzing that, you are now supposed to be getting now what the question wants you. We've been told to get the percentages of students uh, taking that is both languages. Now, both languages here mean that you are supposed to be getting the intersection of the two languages. That is it. So you are required to get the probability of Spanish intersection French. Now, what will this one be? Now, to attain that, first of all, you must be in a position of knowing the general formula of getting the probability of Spanish Union French. Because from there, you will be deriving the formula of uh, the intersection here. And therefore, the formula states that for you to get the probability of Spanish Union French, you are supposed to get the probability of Spanish plus the probability of French minus the probability of Spanish intersection French. Then, since you've been asked to get the probability of Spanish intersection French, that one means the rest you are having because you've been provided with the union here that is 0 0.6 you've been provided with the probability of spanish that is 0 0.4 as well as uh, french that is 0 0.3 so your work is just to substitute so that you get the unknown only so i'll just come here and say the probability of getting spanish union french we've been told that it is 0 0.6 here so i'll just come here and write it here that is 0 0.6 and that is probably is equals to uh, of getting uh, Spanish, we've been told that it is 0 0.4. So I'll come here and write 0 0.4 here. Plus French here, we've been told that it is the probability is 0 0.3. So I'll come here and write 0 0.3 here. Minus uh, probability of intersection, we've, been, we've not been told. And that's what we are required to get. So I'll come here and write it here. The probability of getting Spanish intersection French. Now, after that, you are required to uh, simplify your work because uh, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 probably 0 0.7. So I'll just come here and write 0 0.6, therefore, it's equal to 0. Point, that is 7 minus the probability of Spanish intersection French. After that, you are required to collect the like terms. So I can bring that is probability of intersection this side so that I bring 0 0.6 the other side and uh, fortunately when a negative crosses the equal sign it is a positive so i'll remain with the probability of spanish intersection french being equals to 0 0.7 here when a negative when a positive 6 crosses the equal sign you remember that is negative 0 0.6 here now when you work out this one out you will remain with that is 0 0.7 when it is 0 0.6 and probably it is 0 0.1 now you've been told that uh, to get the percentage and therefore you are required to get now the percentage of uh, uh, that is uh, uh, the intersection part that is getting the both languages now to change this decimal into percentage your work is just to multiply by 100 and you finalize so i'll come here now to convert into percentage you will come here and write 0 0.1 times 100 and that is probably shall be that is 10 percent so you'll end up getting 10 percent as the only probability that uh, the uh, uh, that is uh, the students shall take both Spanish as well as uh, French languages. Finally, you are required to be knowing uh, those terminologies that we normally apply on uh, the probability as an area of concern. Like you've seen me stressing that is at least. Please know that at least in probability here just mean that you are required to get the union of that set. So, for instance, we have that is a Spanish and a French. At least mean we are supposed to be getting that probability of Spanish Union French. That one will prove that uh, the students shall be taking at least uh, one of those languages. Remember, we only have two languages here. So, one of them. Now, uh, the word both. 
both in probability just mean uh, the intersection of a set so our set here well uh, that is a uh, spanish as well as french so we are required to get uh, that probability that the students probably will be taking both uh, spanish as well as french that is we get the intersection of the two languages and you shall have been done to finalize your answer there finally uh, i think that uh, for a better understanding as well as a sharing uh, for excellence or the same you need to be uh, sharing these to as many of your fellows as possible so that at least we benefit uh, don't just benefit alone uh, and leave your neighbors your friends they are not to benefit so please ensure that at least you share share what i'm giving you to as many individuals as possible so that they can also benefit otherwise ensure you subscribe so that the moment i placed any event there then you are able to see it and uh, probably visit it otherwise uh, let me see you in the next class